Hey, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK out foraging again and we've just found a mushroom that everyone who forages for mushrooms should know about. Come on down here and have a closer look. Here we've got our Amanita verosa, the destroying angel. And the first thing I want you guys to look at is that patterning, that almost snakeskin or stretch march mark type patterning on, on the stem of the mushroom there. Because at the moment I cannot see the, the remains of the vulva and I can't see whether there's a skirt on the mushroom so there's nothing else really as a, as a key identifier for this mushroom when it's looking like this. But that's all I need to see to know I am staying away from this mushroom with regards to putting it in my basket. I am not in any way worried about touching it though so what I'll do is I'll show you what I was just talking about. At the base of Amanita's you will or you should find the remnant of the egg sac and that's a particularly fat one that the mushroom has grown from there it is poked its way through that vulva at the base and then what I'm gonna do I'll pull the whole mushroom up to show you actually since it's in such good condition, there's that egg sac. Now if you don't know what you're doing and you see a mushroom growing from an egg sac, just leave it behind. It's highly likely to be one of the Amanitas and this is not the only highly poisonous Amanita. As they grow, most of the Amanitas will open out and leave a skirt on the stem. So I'll try and demonstrate that as it opens. Well, you can see there, the gills start off covered by the partial veil there. You can see it coming away. And that will actually remain attached to the stem and look like a skirt. And as with most Amanitas, what we've got here are white gills. Some of the Amanitas, the Amanita crochia, has slightly off-white gills, but they're always quite nice and white like that. Now, um, this is a mushroom that contains a, a toxin called Amanitin A, amongst a few others, but the Amanitin A is uh, the, the most poisonous of the, of the different chemicals that are in this mushroom. And that is a truly, truly deadly toxin, but only if you ingest it, and only really if you ingest a reasonable amount of it, you know, not just a, I mean, I'll happily touch the cap and lick my finger without any fear of being made sick from it but if you were to eat a chunk like that or bigger then you would be uh, putting your life at serious risk so the destroying angel a truly beautiful white mushroom i find it to be one of the the prettiest mushrooms that we uh, that we find and uh, it's an example of what i teach people on um, my courses actually is that if there is a if there is a danger color in the mushroom world then it's white it's not red because out of the um, deadly mushrooms that we have in the uk the the majority of them or probably about half of them are white all over that doesn't mean that there aren't perfectly edible white all over mushrooms but it means that white if there is a warning color white is it anyway lovely find if you want to find out more go to www.wildfooduk.com mm -hmm.